Hey guys, what's up? I'm Charles and welcome back to another Trends. I'm gonna give you the news. Remember, if you hang around till the end, you get a special treat. Cause I'm gonna be reading out some of my favorite comments from previous videos. Let's do it. In our main story today, by some stroke of sheer luck, a man in Montana, like some scene out of The Revenant, was attacked by a bear not just once, but twice, and survived to tell the tale. Todd Orr was hiking the Madison Valley when out of nowhere he was set upon by a grizzly bear with two cubs at its side. Posting a video to Facebook shortly after the event, Orr stated, it just came at me from about 80 yards out. Orr claims to have been using bear spray at the time of the attack, which clearly didn't do the job intended. After describing the bear's bite like a sledgehammer, Orr stated, I think my arms broke, but legs are good, internal organs are good, eyes are good. I guess it's a positive stance to take on the situation. He says that after a few minutes of the initial attack and being bitten and mauled repeatedly, the bear just disappeared. Thanking his lucky stars for surviving, or immediately began to run back to his vehicle, which was about four kilometers away, without stopping to patch up his wounds, obviously fearing a repeat attack. He wasn't wrong to fear such a thing. Seconds later, the bear set upon him again. Receiving bites to his head, blood gushing across his face, he feared it would be the end. Somehow, he survived the second attack with no life-threatening injuries and made it back to his vehicle to call emergency services. All posted several images which could be seen as quite disturbing to social media showing his injuries. What a brave man. Hopefully an event such as this will give Orr another outlook on life and he will make the most of each day to come. It's scary to think that something like that can just happen out of nowhere. A man in the UK has reportedly spent over $26,000 in order to look like his idol David Beckham. Now, I get it. David is a handsome guy. Who wouldn't want some of his looks? But spending a ridiculous amount of money on plastic surgery in an attempt to do that and actually failing quite miserably, yeah, I, I don't get that. 19 year old Jack Johnson spent 19,000 pounds on procedures for his cheeks, chin, eyebrows, lips, teeth, and tannin injections to try and obtain the look he desired. In an interview on TV show This Morning, presenters asked Johnson how he had paid for the procedures when he was in fact on benefits and not earning any money from a job. The Team claims to have taken out loans, so on top of not achieving his desired look, he's also in crippling debt, and claims to need at least another £30,000 or $39,000 in order to complete his transformation. As the interview continues, it becomes increasingly apparent that Johnson is extremely unaware of the terrible situation he's getting himself into, and how in the long run, he's not going to find happiness. The hosts urge him to rethink his situation and remind him of how important it is to take care of himself mentally. Twitter users reacted harshly following the interview, with one user at Nalisco saying, dude looks like Kim Jong-un, not David Beckham, hashtag this morning. So as we all know, the internet loves cats. Cat photos, cat memes, cat videos, cat themed clothes. Cats rule the internet. However, it turns out Facebook apparently doesn't like cats. Varun Krishnan, a technology based blogger from India, claims he was locked out of his Facebook after sharing his photo of a cat in a suit. What's wrong with a cat in a suit, Facebook? You guys scared people might find it offensive? Are you allergic to cats? What's the deal? On the matter, Varun says, I might sound stupid, which yes, it, it is, but this just happened to me. Varun claimed he received the image from a friend via WhatsApp and found it so cute he just had to share it to another friend via Facebook Messenger. And before he realized it, all of his online presence revolving around Facebook was being deleted and logged out. Facebook didn't offer any explanation as to why the following happened and Varun is none the wiser. The photo doesn't display nudity or violence and it certainly isn't bullying anyone. Maybe the photo's cursed. Maybe it's got a social media demon inside of it. What do you guys think? Several other people have claimed to have the same thing happen to them after sharing a photo to their own Facebooks. Would any of you guys dare share the photo? Please don't blame me if Facebook wipe you off the face of the earth. Finally today, as we come into fall, or autumn, as we like to call it in the UK, a hilarious trend has been cited on Twitter via the hashtag TakeHerHoodie. 21 year old Texas student, Goodwill Moff, Hey. Goodwill Moore had finally had enough of his hoodie being stolen and posted several photos to Twitter of him in a female hoodie alongside the statement, Ladies, we've had enough. You can't just take our hoodies this year without giving them back. This year, we're fighting back. Hashtag take our hoodie. And you know what? I'm with you, buddy. I am sick of my hoodies going missing. As are the other 100,000 people who liked or retweeted his initial plea. Tons of hilarious images have ensued in the wake of the initial tweet. Men wearing hoodies that clearly did not fit them, alongside some pretty funny statements. What do you think of this, guys? I want to see your attempts at Take a Hoodie. Tweet them out to us. You can find us on at Inform Overload. So now we're done with the news, let's get on some of your comments. And guys, make sure to ask me some questions on this video so I can answer them in the next one. First Next up, Shane Doody asks, are you a dog or a cat person? Good question, but very easy to answer. 
100% a dog person. I've always grown up around dogs and back home in Australia we have three of them. In fact, I might have to go visit them sometime soon. It's been a while. I did have a couple of cats as a kid, but let's be honest, they just aren't as fun or attentive as dogs. Sorry cat people. The British Guild of Assassins asks, would you join the Assassins Brotherhood or the Templar Order? Another great question. Um, I've always seen myself as somewhat of a stealthy person and I think I'd be pretty good at sneaking around and taking out targets, mainly chicken burgers, um, except for my massive hate of heights. Do you think they'd still let me be an assassin if I told them I didn't want to climb around on high buildings? Finally, Pepsi XL asked, do you like NASA? Uh, well, if you mean NASA as in the National Aeronautic and Space Administration, then yeah, sure. I mean, space is cool, and anyone who aims to explore and teaches more about space is also cool. So yeah, NASA lit as fuck. Thanks for the question. That's it for another video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.